Hello students, today we are going to be going over 15.5 using box plots to interpret data. Our objective is I can create and interpret box plots. And I'm going to say box and whisker plots because they will include some lines on the ends. Okay, so we have vocabulary here. Um, the first quartile, again, this should just be review for some of you, for all of you actually. Q1 is the medium of the lower half of numbers in the data set. Quartile 3 is the median of the upper half of numbers in the data set. Interquartile range is basically Q3 minus Q1. And it's basically how wide the box is going to be on your box and whisker plot. And it's also helpful to know the spread of the data in your interquartile range. An outlier is a value that is numerically distant from the rest of the data. An outlier is a number which is less than quarter one, quartile 1 or greater than quartile three by more than five times the interquartile range. Okay, so here's some more um, vocabulary. I'll let you go over that while I continue. Um, so just so you are aware of it, you can do statistical values on the TI-30XA calculator, which is the one I have the most of in this class. So if you didn't want to use the graphing calculator, you can go ahead and enter numbers in your data set, and it can help you find your standard deviation and your mean. Um, it doesn't help you with the median or the range, but that's pretty simple calculations. Okay? And then the TI-84 uh, plus calculator can give you all this information here. Okay, so here we have a box and whisker plot with outliers. We're going to order the data, find the median, put it inside the box, find Q1 and Q3, the outsides of the box, make the box, calculate the interquartile range. Again, it'll be this number, subtract this number, find the values for the whiskers. Okay, so the whiskers are going to be the numbers outside. Um, and then the new is the minimum acceptable is quartile 1 minus 1.5 times the IQR or interquartile range. The maximum acceptable is quartile 3 plus 1.5 times interquartile range. Draw a number line and create the Boskin whisker plots. Uh, put dots to represent elements in the set that are outliers. Okay, And maybe some of this won't make sense until we actually get in and start doing some of this. Okay. So using your math smarts, create each of the following. Make sure to label the number line. Okay, so first we need to order the data. So here we're going to order the data. So we go the smallest number, let's see, 60. And then 66, oh, 65. 65, there's 265, there's a 66. 266, and then what's after that? Um, 67, 68, and then do we have any? Do we have 268s? Yep. And then we're gonna put a few 70s in there. 370s. And then 370s, and we have a couple of 71s. 73, and then 80. And generally at the end, I like to count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And normally with a pencil, I would be um, marking out each one as I wrote them down, like, okay, 60. I did, did that one. 65 is twice. 66 is here and here. 67 is over there. 68 is here and here, um, and then 70, there's three 70s, 71, 70, um, two 71s, 73, and 80, okay? So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. They're in order from least to greatest now. Okay. So if we have 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So 
And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The middle numbers are going to be right here, 68. Oh, whoops, that would be over here, the median. Okay. Now, the mean. Add them all together on your calculator. 68.67. And you can pause the video before I wrote that down. Okay. Um, the minimum in the set, 60. Maximum in the set, 80. So the range, is going to be 20, okay, and then quartile one, let's see if we split the data, and we take the middle one of the lower half, quartile one is going to be 66, and then of the upper half here, it's going to be 71, okay. So the interquartile range is going to be 71 minus 66, 5, okay. Um, to find out if we have any outliers, we're going to take the minimum <clears throat> acceptable, let's see, what was the exact term? Um, the minimum acceptable equals quartile 1, so quartile 1 is 66 minus, and we go 1.5 times, actually I'm going to put parentheses there, 1.5 times 5, that's our interquartile range, and equals 58.5. And we don't have any <clears throat> that are that number or below, so we won't have any outliers for the minimum. Okay. Now let's look for the maximum acceptable. And that one, we take quartile 3 and we add 1.5 times the interquartile range, and that is equal to 78.5. Okay. So the outliers we have there, if we look up here, we just have 80 as an outlier, okay? So let's see if I'm going to, if I can do this here or if I'm going to have to, um, let's see, draw it out by hand. Okay, so um, first of all, we need to put some numbers. Let's see, let's find the median. Is it 68? I would say this one looks like it's in the middle. Okay. Um, I'll just go by twos, but also do every other one. Oh, I don't even get 80 on there if I do that. Okay, unless... Let's see. Okay, let me see if that'll work. All right. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I don't know that I'm going to be able to. Let's try this. Okay, so the front of the box is going to be quartile 1 at 66. Let's see if I can. 
and quartile threes at 71. And if we can connect the box, let's see. Okay. All right, we're just going to go to the whiskers. Um, so the whiskers go to all the way down to minimum with 60. So that'll be a dot. And then you can connect that. Let's see if I can figure it out. Oh, not that. This line. Connecting it to the box. And then over here, let's see, the highest. The maximum could be 78, so we're going to go to um, 73. As you can see up here, 73, because technically, oh, whoops, 73, that's about 73. Okay, um, so, and then that's our other whisker goes out to there um, so we are going to go with a dot at 73 somehow I can't get it to go to the dot Okay, so it's 73 at the end, and now, let's see if I go there. There is the dot. Okay, sorry about that. So we have a dot over here at 80. It's an outlier that really shouldn't pertain to much in this box and whisker plot. Okay, and again, you should have this be a complete box here and I can't get it to work but there that kind of works so anyway um, that's it okay oh I didn't put the middle one and the median was where it's 68 so if I go to 68 that's inside the box here and then I'm going to put okay there's kind of the median. And for some reason, I can't get the top of the box. Okay, so that's how you do that. Uh, describe the shape of the data. Um, let's see, isn't there like it's more spread out on the left side? So it's um, skewed left. And the outlier increases the standard deviation one pitch was much faster than the others okay all right go ahead and work on the rest students you can do it you rock